Hey everyone, it's me, John Lorden, back with something different. This is a Johnny Vlog Reviews. I know, time for another show. <laughs> um, just in case you didn't see my Johnny Vlogs from earlier today, this won't be quite a regular show. This is a show that takes a bit of coordination of me with other companies. There's a lot of time frame issues that come up with that. Um, but I would like to do one at least maybe once a month initially. Um, there are just so many new products out there, particularly for home and personal safety, that I really think it's worth covering these products. Um, and let me just tell you how this got started. Uh, I was sent an email from my wife <laughs> uh, several months ago about a product she heard about called Wear Safe. And a frequent conversation that we have, she is a long distance runner. She loves to go running in parks and stuff like that. And of course, living in Minnesota, we've got tons of beautiful parks, very scenic places where she can go running. Um, I like to run as well, but I don't do quite the same distances that she does. So uh, we do have some friends that occasionally she'll go running with, but that, that doesn't always match up with their training plans and her training plans. So occasionally we hit the situation where she will want to go and do a long run on her own. And it's always been a little tough for me, of course, um, with what I do on the channel here week after week. It's made me very aware of bad situations that can happen to people. We've covered several cases about women that have gone running and bad things have happened to them out there. Um, so this seemed to be kind of a natural fit to perhaps help with that situation. A device that is essentially like a panic button that you press and it automatically sends a pulse through your cell phone to a network of people that you select. Uh, it sends them a message saying, hey, this person needs help. Uh, if you are one of those people that get that message, you can click on a link. First of all, it sends you an email, but it also texts you. There's a link in the text message where if you click on that link, it'll take you to a web page, and instantly you're looking at a GPS locator, literally a Google map of where that person is, uh, as well as some other things we're going to talk about here. So that was just the general gist of it, and I have to tell you after... Looking into devices, I, I looked into Wear Safe, but I looked into at least eight of their competitors as well. And I was trying to figure out, because initially I was thinking about this as, you know, like a gift for my wife, so we wouldn't have to have that conversation anymore. Um, but after looking into about eight of them, uh, I came back to Wear Safe as being the one that I thought was the best mix. Um, their methodology and their feature set seems to be the right fit specifically for that problem that I'm talking about. Um, I also have a friend that likes to do uh, like mountain biking and stuff like that. Um, he also thinks it's a good situation for him to possibly have one of those because frequently if you're sporting with a cell phone in some way, um, your cell phone isn't easily accessible. It's usually packed in a backpack or it's in some type of belt that's on you. Uh, I can tell you from personal experience, just after finishing races that I've done, that even if I can get to my cell phone, uh, if my hands are wet from sweating at all, trying to use those touch screens is ridiculous. It's, it's nearly impossible. Uh, I've literally been sitting after races trying to text my wife to let her know that I finished, and it takes me five to ten minutes just to for my hands to dry to the point where I can actually use the cell phone screen again. So um, outside of that, and you're not even talking about an emergency situation. If you're in an emergency situation, uh, it can get to the point where you have a matter of seconds to try to get that message off. And if you're anyone anything like me out there, uh, your cell phone probably has a lock code on it. Uh, admittedly, it's a little bit faster now that they have the fingerprint sensors, like on my Samsung Galaxy S8. There is, ooh, I wish I had it here, I don't have it nearby. There's literally a fingerprint sensor on the back, so I touch that and it unlocks my phone. But even that takes a few seconds for it to unlock. If something bad was happening, at that point you have to navigate your apps, you have to figure out, okay, I'm gonna go into my text program, then I have to tell it who I'm texting, then I have to jump into the body of the message, then I have to type. <laughs> and if something really bad is happening, like you're being attacked by someone or you're running or something along those lines, all those steps, 
I just I don't know that you're going to be able to get all that done within a reasonable time frame. I think you know, from getting your phone unlocked to actually getting a text fired off, even if you're one of these super texters, like I've seen, <laughs> I've seen a lot, it seems like the younger generation in particular, they can text, I mean, their fingers are just flying all over the place. Um, I still think you're looking at a matter of probably 10 to 15 seconds to be able to get something like that off. And then what does the person that's receiving it get? Basically, whatever you are able to type. Uh, is that going to be a GPS location, a map showing the person exactly where you are, as well as, as well as some other additional critical information? Probably not. So with all that being said, let's look more into WearSafe. Here's a little pamphlet they sent me, personal safety, perfectly simple. Um, they're calling it the smartest, most effective personal safety technology in the world. Meet WearSafe, an amazing new technology that works hand in hand with your phone. It's a tag that you can discreetly wear anywhere. Um, let me just stop there for a second. There seems to be a bit of an opinion difference in some products about being discreet about the product versus other products that are trying to let a potential assailant know that you have them. Uh, there's one product in particular, I can't remember its name off the top of my head, but it's this big clunky thing that you essentially wear on your arm and it's supposed to let other people know that, hey, that person must have some type of personal safety system. I, I don't know that that is really a good methodology yet because all you see is this big clunky thing on someone's arm. You think it could be a, uh, a cell phone or it could be a media player of some kind. It doesn't necessarily scream out, hey, this is a personal safety system and you better leave this person alone. So for me personally, I think having something discreet that you could trigger literally with a press is probably the way to go. Uh, and this is working on Bluetooth technology, so keep in mind that will trigger the, the WearSafe system on your phone, which is an app that you have to install on your phone. It'll trigger it through you know clothing, like if you've got your phone in your backpack or in a belt on you somewhere or something like that, or maybe if it's even on a bag that's on the back of your bike, something along those lines. You've got about up to, I think it's 200 feet to trigger it just with the press of this button. Another thing that I saw that varied from some products to others was how you press the button. And one of the cool things um, about WearSafe in particular is you can set it for different types of presses, either one long press to send an emergency alert, uh, short press, or three short presses. And some of the other products look like they're keyed in specifically for um, you know, three short presses to send an alert or something like that. So it's, it's kind of cool that you get to choose here. It's a tag that you can discreetly wear anywhere on your clothes, your bag, your keys, you name it. With one touch, it instantly connects your trusted network with critical information like location, um, which the location thing, I, I think I've already nailed it. And there's a lot of like family finder apps and stuff like that that you could use out there nowadays. But this is something that particularly is triggering a network of people that you designate, that you set up, and you can have multiple networks set up. So for example, if you know on Sundays that your husband's always going to be sitting at home playing video games, you could have a network that just triggers him. Um, if you know during the week that you, you run through the city and you have friends that work in the city, you can have a network that you slide over and say, okay, activate this network because I'm going for a, a run out here and it triggers them. So um, very cool features in terms of having the different networks. And that's another difference that I see in some of these products is some of them are trying to automatically alert uh, emergency services. Like they're trying to integrate directly with 911 systems and stuff like that. I think that this is probably a better system because it's a personal network. And if it's truly a panic trigger, where maybe the person doesn't know that they're in danger yet or not. I mean, we could talk about the situation in Delphi where these two little girls are out there walking. One of them was smart enough to pull out her cell phone, start taking pictures and start recording audio of this guy. Um, but did she know that something was necessarily gonna go down at that point? Probably not. So having a trigger that you could hit and know that you're not disrupting the authorities necessarily with a false alert, but your friends are aware that, hey, for some reason, you're not feeling safe. And by the way, here's your current location. Uh, it also starts a chat room 
with all the people that are in your network at that point and they can see each other's messages. So you could have your friend Bob that works in city in the city that says, you know what, I'm going to run over. It's two blocks away. I'm headed out there right now. Um, and if your husband's still at home because he's playing video games and he's got a five or 10 minute drive, he can then kick in, hey, Bob, I'm on my way, but I'm not going to be there for five or 10 minutes. This could be a critical, critical time in some of these cases, particularly if we're talking about the type of stuff that we see on search light with abduction situations, you're talking about seconds truly mattering. And even if you have a device that does automatically notify the authorities, think of what that process is like. Typically, you're calling 911, you have to talk to an operator, you have to convince the operator that you really need help and then get all the information about where you are and all that to them. Then they dispatch someone else. It's a whole chain of information and contacts that have to happen for emergency services where this is much more direct. It's people that probably care about you very closely um, that, you know, you could let them know before you even go out, hey, I'm going for this long run. Um, just know that I'm going to be out there and you're in my network on where safe. So if I need help, I might need you. Uh, here is a very um, important differentiator for where safe. They have a feature where a continuous audio stream of what's happening can be sent to the people that have been triggered in your network. And I actually, I actually played with that a bit earlier today, and I was kind of impressed by it. Um, it's really cool that basically from when you hit that trigger button, it starts recording. And it's using your phone to record, which if you have a modern phone, the microphones on them are pretty, pretty amazing. I was pretty... I was pretty impressed with the clarity that I was hearing. Now, admittedly, if you're carrying your phone in your backpack or in a running bag of some kind or something like that, the sound might get muffled, but it's still something. And if you're in the situation where you're the person that's actually triggering this, at least then you know the recording is happening. Perhaps you can start speaking about details like the person that's following you or what you're seeing, what kind of car they're driving, license plate information. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. If you know that all of a sudden you're being recorded, you could really help yourself out a lot with a device like that. Now, there's a few little technical things that I'm not sure about with that feature. For example, um, battery burn. I don't know how hard your battery gets burned leaving that on all the time because um, it does this thing where it's essentially recording the whole time. Once, once you hit the button, it's able to send uh, up to a minute of sound before the button was pressed. So I believe that means that it's recording the whole time. I'm pretty sure that's going to impact your battery somewhat. There's also this warning when you turn that feature on that um, the microphone use might affect other applications of yours. Um, you know, supposedly they're doing it to code with Android or Apple, depending on what device you have, but sometimes other apps, um, aren't coded properly and knocking out the microphone for those other apps might stop them from working. Or if they're taking exclusive use of the microphone, it might make it so that where safe doesn't work properly. So, um, a couple of things that still have to be worked out with that, but that's part of what where safe is doing. They're constantly developing on this app. Uh, I've already gotten an update that they have a new version of the app released. They're now releasing the audio segments faster. Um, they're coming in 15 second bursts. Uh, and it's really neat because you, in, if you look in the app, if you're part of the network that's being alerted, you'll see all these separate files and you can play through them. And even after the alert gets closed out by the person, um, I don't know for how long, but I was able to go back later in the day and those sounds were still in there. So theoretically, if there was something that could be used as evidence or something like that, you could get a recording of it off of that system. Um, and the really cool thing about disabling the alert is it takes the person's birthday to disable an alert. So even if someone was able to get you, subdue you somehow, noticed your cell phone, saw this app was running and saw that it was an alert. If they try to disable the alert, they have to know your birthday to be, to be able to disable it, which I think was just really, really clever. That's one of the reasons why I think this is a good product. It seems like people have really thought about some of the aspects of being in a bad situation and the types of things that um, would give you more control in, in that situation. So 
it gives you a location, gives you a continuous audio stream if you have that feature turned on, uh, the private group chat I've told you about, and it's just saying get the right help right, aw right away with WearSafe, which I think is really an important aspect to it. Um, like I mentioned, this isn't trying to get the police, you know, you fell somewhere, you twisted your ankle, uh, maybe you just need your husband to come and pick you up, you know, something along those lines. Uh, it's not always going to be a situation where you in immediately want to notify the authorities. However, on the alert screen that you do get in the upper right hand corner, there's this big button you press, tap that button once and your dialer is brought up and 911 is already in it. You hit the call button and you are on the phone with 911. So they still even thought about that aspect. What if it's the worst? What if... Uh, I was in a network and let's say I saw an alert from my wife and I heard in the audio something really bad was happening. Within seconds, I don't even have to think. There's a big button in the upper corner, bang, I'm on the phone with 911 telling them what's happening, telling them exactly where she is. The location stays updated. It keeps updating until that alert is closed. Sound keeps coming through until that alert is closed. It's really, really cool. I was really impressed with it when I was playing around with it today. Um, this is what it looks like when it comes to you. This is the tag. There we go. Um, and as you can see, this one says 12 months of service, which is something very cool that we're safe did. Of course, we got a demo unit so I could tell you all about it, but they also sent me another unit to give away. They actually sent me two other units to give away, but I don't think this is my only video. I want this to be kind of the, um, my first thoughts on it. Uh, we're going to keep using it and maybe in another month or so I'll do another video letting you guys know a bit better information like about the battery burn. I want to learn more about does it work internationally. From what I'm seeing on their FAQ, it should. Um, but I want to know more about some of the details of trying to use it internationally. Uh, so I've got more stuff to cover with it. But for this episode, I am going to be giving one of these away. I'm going to limit it to the US just because I don't I see guys on YouTube do this and then all of a sudden they're paying $50 shipping charges to send it to someone somewhere. Um, I don't know if that really makes sense. So if you are interested in getting a wear safe for free, courtesy of wear safe on the Lord and Arts channel, please comment down below. That's it. I'm going to look through the comments. I'm going to pick one. I'm going to contact you through the YouTube system and arrange to have this shipped to you. But please keep in mind for this one, I'm going to keep it to the US. <laughs> uh, I just want to make sure that it's going to go somewhere where it's needed. And this particular model is for, um, oh, I was going to say, I thought it was for Android, but now that I think about it, it doesn't matter because you just download the app. The hardware is the same. So it works with either Android or Apple. If you're curious what the actual tag looks like, you open up this box, you get to meet tag, and there it is. They also, hi. <laughs> they also have this cool thing where the tag has different types of clips. It has a tight, like a belt hoop type clip, or it has like a keychain type clip that both slide on there. And they're very firm. They're really sturdy. Uh, my wife has already gone running with hers a few times, has had no issues with it, you know, falling off or even getting close to falling off. It's really, really well designed. It is, uh, I believe it's also waterproof. So you don't have to worry about that sweat problem that I was talking about earlier. So if you don't win the tag for yourself and the one year of free WearSafe service, but you still want one anyway, you can just go to their website, wearsafe.com. They've got um, three different pricing plans. It looks like one month subscription with a free tag. They send you the, the actual tag for free is $7 a month. If you do a six month subscription, they um, kick it down to six bucks a month. So essentially you're paying $36 every six months. Or if you do a full year, um, they take it down to $5 a month. So it's only $60 billed annually. Um, outside of that, we've arranged for a special coupon code for you. If you use the coupon code Lord and Arts, they help support the channel a little bit and they also give you $10 off that first year. So I think that's a good deal for everyone involved. Um, so far for my first impressions, I'm, 
I'm really impressed, guys. Uh, the one thing is, I hope that they iron out some more of the issues that they were talking about with the sound recording. Um, I'm curious to see what battery burn is like on that. So I have to send my wife on a long run with that feature turned on, which we're going to arrange very soon. Um, but outside of that, we did try uh, the Bluetooth obviously on because this is a Bluetooth device. Um, and having Bluetooth on, she uses a Samsung Galaxy S7. Uh, the battery wear was minimal, uh, not even really noticeable as opposed to having the Bluetooth off. So just for the connectivity of the button to the software, um, you're probably not going to take very much of a battery hit at all. For the audio recording, I think it's going to be more, but I don't know for sure. So stay tuned for my, my more in-depth review, um, probably about a month from now, where I'll give you some more details on how all that's shaking out. Plus, is the device holding up? I mean, it feels like it's pretty strong. It doesn't feel cheap in the hand. The button feels good and sturdy. Um, you know, is it going to hold up through dirt and sweat and all kinds of stuff getting all over it? I'll let you know a bit more in a month. They do offer it in two colors. I think it's pearl, uh, basically white, and then this kind of darker gray that they call charcoal. Um, the one that I'm giving out is charcoal. So just know that for anyone that's interested in winning that. Um, but that's it for my initial impressions on WearSafe. So far, I'm pretty dang impressed. And like I mentioned, we've got a ton more products to look at. If you have some suggestions on products you'll like, you'd like me to look into or products that you think the rest of the Lord and Arts audience should know about, please include those in the comment box below. Uh, I will take a look at all those, reach out to some of those companies, see if we can get some more demos going, um, see if we can try them out for ourselves, and then of course share that back with all of you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you have a great one and I'll see you back here again on the Lord March channel.